Good evening. Thank you for joining me tonight for Holy Week Vespers. I'm Erin Betley, Director of Contemporary Worship and College Ministries at Jamestown United Methodist Church. Tonight, our journey through the Stations of the Cross brings us to the end of the Via Dolorosa, the road taken by Jesus through Jerusalem to the cross at Calvary. We will pause and reflect on the work that was done at the cross with simply wood and nails, hands that once healed, protected, and provided, now pierced, bearing the weight of our sin and shame. Our experiences of the stations this evening will be a little different. We will first hear the story through scripture in response. These responses will again be led by some of our staff, and I hope that you will join them. Accompanied by paintings from Michael D. O'Brien, Kat and Mark Foster will sing Wood and Nails as we reflect on the love that Christ has for each of us and the price that he paid to set us free. As we prepare, let us pray together. Join me in the words on your screen. Lord Jesus Christ, fill our hearts with the light of your Spirit so that by following you on your final journey, we may come to know the price of our redemption and become worthy of a share in the fruits of your passion, death, and resurrection. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Let's begin. Station 9. Jesus is crucified. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him, there along with the criminals, one on his right, the other on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. Luke 23, 33 through 34. They have pierced your hands and feet, Lord, yet even then... You found the strength to forgive, even as the nails drove into your flesh. Grant us that forgiveness, Lord, when we sin, turn away, and pierce our relationships with you. Grant us that forgiveness, Lord. Station 10. Jesus promises his kingdom to the good thief. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence. We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Luke 23, 39 through 43. When suffering reigns, yours is the first heart to break. When despair lurks about, we remember that you were there first, peering into the abyss and crying out incredibly, Father, forgive them. When we feel overcome by guilt, we remember that you spoke grace to a thief. Today you will be with me in paradise. Your love for us is just that boundless and ever-present and good. Thank you. What else can we say here in the dimness, in the darkness, but thank you? Station 11. Jesus speaks to his mother and the beloved disciple. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. John 19, 25 through 27. My Lord Jesus Christ, surely your precious mother felt pain when her beloved son was condemned to torture and death. 
I too have felt the pain of being pierced whenever I am unjustly and cruelly treated or when I've seen it happen to someone I care deeply about. Help me also to remember in the midst of my pain that you are with me always and that you will make good come from my sorrows. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Hands will join with them. 
Lord Jesus, crucified. Have mercy on us. Thank you for joining me this week for Holy Week Vespers. We will gather one more time tomorrow, Good Friday, at 7.30 on the Jamestown UMC Facebook and YouTube pages. A reminder that on Easter Sunday at sunrise, I'll be here live at 7 a.m. reading the Easter story from John as we rejoice in the resurrection of Christ. It's been an honor to share in these evening Vespers with you throughout the season of Lent and Holy Week. Our Vesper service tomorrow will be our last for a while, yet we hope to see you again soon. As we close, join me one last time in our goodnight prayer found on your screen. Protect us, Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Be with us throughout these next few nights. When Sunday comes, may we rise from sleep to rejoice in the resurrection of your Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. See you tomorrow. Good night. Star